What's up guys, my name is Mouse and today I've got a package. Um, yep, it's a package, you know exactly what it is because only, I only get one thing in the mail of packages. I don't really get booster boxes, I, I got two of those, but yeah, you can basically, probably, you know, shouldn't expect them to be getting a booster box. And the only other thing I really buy online, you know, I bought, other, again, yeah, I think it was a box of, I bought other things online, but you know, not often, but that is Bayes, and this is Rising Ragnarok. Very happy to have this. Um, this one went off Prime, actually, so I got it for timing. Wyvern's price is stabilized a bit, since all it is. Um, that's, and I'm not sure if it's a good thing or a bad thing. Uh, I guess it won't go up, but it won't go down either. I was hoping I, you know, I could get it a bit cheaper, since it was cheaper at one point. But, uh, here we go, and there's something else. Okay, so, funny story, actually. Um, I actually really, really... Okay, so when I first saw a little bit of burst, you know, like, watching the bays and, like, a few battles and stuff, I absolutely hated this bay. I hated the look of it. I don't like the color orange. Funny, I'm a Bengals fan, and I don't like orange. Very rarely do I like the color orange, and I hated this. But then, slowly, this bay really grew on me. And then when I saw it, it was, one of, it was like the top one on my list to get. I was like, I really want Ragnarok. So here's Ragnarok. Um, the teeth are kind of pointy looking. Don't know how pointy those are. Sorry about the lighting and stuff. Um, I'm having some issues. And before you say anything, they're not actually important issues. They're not like family stuff. No, it's just it's minor issues, just about something going on. It does not affect any actual. Oh no, no, it, it affects a YouTube plan, but it doesn't affect anything else besides that. I plan for a video, but uh, it's just kind of something I'm gonna have to live with. And uh, you know, what? I, I guess I'll just kind of spoil it now. Uh, my room, really, it's all about my room. All it is is I'm having trouble. Signing where things need to go because I've got a really cool room. I've got a cool setup, but I might have to move some things because I'm losing room on my shelves to put stuff on. You know, I put some boxes on there, some DVDs, just cool things, you know, but I'm losing room on that shelf, and that means I might have to swap them on the opposite wall. The wall there over there, I might have to swap them and put them over here, but that means the uh, that, that other wall that's yellow, put on my bed, it won't be able to punch stuff on it. It opened up space on my green wall, cover the blue wall because I'd be shelves more than likely. Unless the shelves could also fit on the red wall, which would be nice. And then I'd put some, uh, maybe keep the shelf where it is. But I don't know, it takes a lot of measuring. This is, uh, okay, it's Rising Ragnarok, Gravity Revolve. Okay, so this is, this is Gravity. Pretty cool looking, it's pretty sturdy. And then, this is Revolve. I thought Revolve was really cool, because it's kind of like a bearing drive, you know? Like, the middle of it is sort of like... Does this middle part spin as well, or is it... Wait, let me look at this. So yeah, okay, so it's got, like, it kind of pokes out there, and around it is this disc, and this disc is through free spin. So that's... I thought this was really cool. So, it's like bearing drive, kind of. So let's put this bay together. And... Bam. So this is Rising Ragnarok really cool day as of right now uh, i'll have to use it a bit we'll see if it's you know becomes a favorite of mine or something who knows um uh one thing i don't like this should work for you is it under here no it's not under it's one of the stupid ways to look did you push it over it got pushed over here okay so well actually let's uh let's line this up a bit let's be a bit more professional here yeah so basically one thing i don't like about these is you have these these thingies, they literally go right here. They have a little bit, not really, they barely have any wiggle, wiggle room. So when doing bays, you have to put them like right here, you know? Unlike um, Metal Fight, you know, where let's grab a quarter or something. You could, you could kind of like twist them a bit, you know? You know, they could twist like this, you know? So it was much easier to get the bays on, you know? So I'm saying you know a lot. So it was much easier to get the bays on, okay? You could just twist it. That was not a view. Okay, restart everything. With the old bays, you could put you could put the bay on, and because how small these thingies were, 
and how the vase were made. You put it on, and you could twist it a lot, so it was much easier to, easier to get vase on, because there was more room to get the uh, these into here. With these vase, the thingies are bigger, and because of how the burst thing works, there's less room, which means it's much harder to actually get vase onto this launcher. So when doing battles, I, I have a lot of trouble getting vase in, you know, in close proximity to each other, you know? I'll put one on and launch it and attempt to get the other one on the launcher, do the ripcord again. String launchers make it easier, but the string launchers wear easily, and I don't like them this gen. Well, no, I like the shape of them, but I don't like how they work. I feel like the bay comes off too early. So this is Rising Dragon Rock. Or on Amazon, Rising Torque Laguna, or something like that. This is kind of funny. Let's see what it says. Ship it. Layer, disc, and driver. There we go. So the metal part's a disc, the bottom part's a driver, and then the layer. Good to know. I didn't actually know that. It put CS in Valkyrie's part. Okay, that's odd. Why would you put the CS tip, the C, whatever it's called, on uh, that, revol that that driver? Right? Yes, that driver. I don't get that. I wonder how long this spins by itself. Uh, it already looks like it's not stopping to spin, but okay. I'm not going to let it spin on that one. Um, so this is Rising Ragnarok, Gravity Revolve. Whoa, really cool bay. I like this one a lot. Um, now... Basic opinions. This I've only, I haven't really used, so you know, don't have too much of an opinion technically, but I do like it by looks and stuff. After that, it's Valkyrie, then probably Xeno Excalibur, and then regular Excalibur. I don't like the look of Excalibur. Uh, I don't know. Like, you know, part part of one of the things about Baze is that it looks, you know? And then also what you do, you know, I guess memories almost. Like, uh, I beat my friends with Eagle all the time. Bull's like my first bay, so I like Bull a lot. Uh, Capricorn we always messed around with because of its thing, and Captain Capri in the anime. A Galaxy Pegasus Line of Dragon can be like my signature battle from Metal Fight. I did that one all the time, so um, you know that was a good one. So based, but yeah, but based off looks alone and early usage of these, I'd say Ragnarok and Valkyrie are my favorites. Then Excalibur, Xeno Excalibur, and then Excalibur. I just don't like the look of this bay. I don't like the gold on it. This bay I think looks a bit cooler, different, better colors and stuff. But yeah, um, that's about all. I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing, and uh, stay tuned on. Matt's Bay Battle. Oh, whoa, whoa, I forgot to look at the stickers and stuff. So Matt's Bay Battles have actually got some stuff planned. Um, Matt's Bay Battles has got some cool plans. Um, by the cool plans, I mean I'm going to be opening some Pokemon Group packs. <laughs> stickers. I don't know what those little circle stickers are, and I know there's something that goes on Ragnarok itself, you know? Like the middle part. So far, I haven't put any stickers on. Uh, I don't know if they look good. Tell me if you think stickers look good. I don't know if they're going to look good. These bays look gorgeous, so I'm not sure if I need to have any stickers on, you know? So, okay, now that that officially ends off the, uh, the video, so hope you guys enjoyed. Um, stay tuned for some boxings on Matt's Bay Battles if you uh, enjoy some non beyblade unboxing, like Pokemon cards and Amiibos, and hopefully, yeah, get my room cleaned. Uh, I've got a plan um, for a video involving my room. Uh, that, that, it could be kind of blatantly obvious of what the plan is, but yeah, I might have to retool my room. If that's the case, I might give you some, you know, before and afters of my room. Uh, it'd be kind of cool. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later. I'm still bad unboxings. Eight and a half minutes. Dang. Mm -hmm.